the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have kicked off celebrations for Commonwealth Day, and their new roles at the forefront of the family of nations, at London's Canada House. Meghan, who is eight months pregnant, paid tribute to Canadian design in a Erdem coat, teamed with 485 pounds Aquazura pumps, as she arrived at Trafalgar Square with Prince Harry this morning. The green wool number, featuring black beaded detail on the cuffs and collar, is a custom design inspired by a look from Montreal born Erdem Moraliaglu's Autumn Slash Winter 2019 collection. Harry guided his pregnant wife out of the car and onto the curb, while Meghan put a protective arm on his back as the couple made their way into the building. The Duke and Duchess, who are expecting their first child next month, took part in a Canadian spring tradition of making maple taffy, maple syrup cooled on snow to make sweets, as part of a traditional cabana sucre, sugar shack. As the couple left, Meghan, negotiating her way down the steps in her foreign heels, holding on to Harry's arm, was given posies by Asil Karkaria, 9, and Michael McCarthy, 8, both from Ottawa, whose parents work at Canada House. Asil, who gave a charming little courtesy, said Meghan had asked where she was from and said it was a pleasure to meet her. Today's event, hosted by Canadian High Commissioner to the United Kingdom Janice Charette, was designed to showcase and celebrate the diverse community of young Canadians living in London and around the UK. During their visit, the couple had the opportunity to talk to groups of young Canadians from the wide range of sectors including fashion, the arts, business and academia, about their experiences as expats as well as opportunities for young people working in the Commonwealth. Los Angeles native Meghan lived in Canada, described as her second home for over six years while filming for legal drama suits in Toronto and has previously said she feels very connected to the country. The Queen has put Harry and Meghan at the forefront of her Commonwealth duties by making them President and Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, an organization promoting young people around the world. Commonwealth Day has a special significance this year American Samoa 2019 marks the 70th anniversary of the modern Commonwealth a global network of 53 countries and almost 2.4 billion people. Before departing, the couple will attend a short reception and watch a musical performance before hearing a short speech from High Commissioner, H.E. Ms. Janice Charette. The UK is home to a large community of expat Canadians, an estimated 500,000 Canadians or have made the country their home. Later, Harry and Meghan will join the Queen along with other senior members of the royal family and leading figures from national life to attend the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey. In her message to mark the occasion, the Queen has praised how the family of nations inspires its member states to find ways of protecting the planet and its citizens. Millions of people are drawn together because of the collective values shared by the institution. The monarch says in her address to the 53 countries of the Commonwealth. The written message is featured in the order of service for the annual Commonwealth Day service being held at Westminster Abbey later today. The Queen, who is head of the Commonwealth, says in her message, In April last year, I welcomed the leaders of our 53 nations to Buckingham Palace and Windsor Castle for the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, and we all witnessed how the Commonwealth vision offers hope and inspires us to find ways of protecting our planet, and our people. We are able to look to the future with greater confidence and optimism as a result of the links that we share, and thanks to the networks of cooperation and mutual support to which we contribute, and on which we draw. With enduring commitment through times of great change, successive generations have demonstrated that whilst the goodwill for which the Commonwealth is renowned may be intangible, its impact is very real. The Queen will be joined at the Commonwealth Day service by the Prince of Wales, Duchess of Cornwall, Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the Duke of York. Other guests among the 2,000-strong congregation will include Prime Minister Theresa May, the Commonwealth Secretary-General Baroness Scotland, alongside High Commissioners, Ambassadors, Faith Leaders and more than 800 schoolchildren and young people. The theme for this year's service is a connected Commonwealth which highlights the cooperation between the culturally diverse family of nations who work together in friendship. 
Highlights of the service include performances by Grammy-winning group Clean Bandit and tenor Ralphie Bo. A reflection will be given by Louis Pugh, an endurance swimmer, ocean advocate and the UN patron of the oceans. Later in the evening, Charles and Camillo will be guests of the Commonwealth Secretary General at the annual reception which traditionally takes place on Commonwealth Day at Marlborough House, the home of the Commonwealth Secretariat, the institution's civil service. Last year, the Queen told foreign dignitaries of her sincere wish that they pick Prince Charles to take over as leader of the Commonwealth and carry on the important work started by her father in 1949.